What is up guys? Welcome back to another video. Lake Murray, South Carolina. That's where we at today. Queen City kayak bass fishing. First time for me. It's very chilly. It's like 31, 32 degrees. Got frost all over the boat. But uh, we about to have some fun. And uh, water temperature is 53 degrees, 53, 54 degrees. And uh, hopefully we can get them today. This is all new to me, so I'm taking you on uh, with the adventure with me, so stay tuned. Right now, I'm just throwing a silent red eye shad. Um, I mean, you got bluebird skies right now, and then yesterday it was 25 mile an hour winds. And I mean, it's just hard to say. It's almost like there's just, it's just it's hard to get a bite right now. So we launched it, Shelly's Cove, and um, back there it had a little bit of stain to it. I'm thinking about finding that that spot where it starts changing over and try to see if there's some fish around there. And I wanted clear water, and well, I got clear water all right. It's pretty clear up here. Yep, so with it being 31 degrees this morning, my hands were freezing for the first part of the morning. It's all I could do to... Oh, I just lost one. Oh, there you go. That's not good. Okay. Not good at all. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna pretend that didn't happen. So, man, it has been, it's been just brutal out here today. Um, earlier in the morning, well, not earlier, but about two or three hours into the tournament, I lost that one while I was talking on video. And, you know, he was, he was in a couple feet of water. Um, and I lost him, but then I went around and I caught that other one. And once again, he was in shallow water as well. It almost seemed like they were relating to like some type of wood, what it seemed like to me. Both fish that I was uh, caught, but that first one I missed was relating to some type of wood. And I, I've just been trying to fish deep. I just can't get a bite deep. And, you know, just looking on Tourney X right now, uh, this right here tells you how, how brutal it is right now, how hard it is on all the anglers. So you got 85 anglers on the, in the tournament, and only so 40, uh, only 38 anglers have caught fish so far. So the whole other half of the field haven't even caught no fish. And I've caught one, I lost the other one, and man, it's just brutal. So. We're gonna keep grinding. We got a couple hours to go. Keep fishing. Hoping I can catch one or two more. Let's see how it goes. So there you go guys, that's the recap. It was it, it was a tough day out there. 
with all the conditions, you know, the few days before with the flooding, with all the rain, and then the uh, Friday, the 25 plus mile an hour winds, you know, uh, not being able to pre-fish and just having to pick a spot, um, it was tough. I had two bites all day and the first bite I got, got off. And then the second bite, I mean, he was just, I honestly think he was just wandering around for some odd reason where I caught him. I mean, I was lucky to catch him, actually. And uh, that's just how it is in February, it seems like. It seems like, you know, the conditions change so much that, you know, it's everything's, you know, unpredictable. I mean, and you just gotta, that's why I, this time of year, I really struggle this time of year. Like, between January and and February is the two worst months of fishing, in my opinion. And you just got to, the only way to get better is to get out there and just, just try to, you know, understand all the different conditions. But uh, let's check out Navionics real quick. I'm going to show you the areas I fished on Lake Murray. This was the area that I launched at. It's called Shelly's Landing. And we, when we launched, my plan was to come out of this little creek and come in and try to hit all these little... Uh, well secondary points these little pockets everywhere and i hit a lot of them and but it was just a struggle trying to find any fish uh the water was clear back in this area um my goal was to rely on a lot of these docks since i didn't get the pre-fish and i couldn't really mark any fish or anything so this is where i launched at and i caught my fish right the two fish i caught i lost one in that little pocket right there and then on the other side of that point, I caught one. And um, it was just a struggle. I caught, you know, the two bites I had. I only had two bites all day. And I lost one and I caught the other. But it was just far in between of finding the fish. Um, I think they were kind of leaning more towards, I mean, I think they were just, there was a better bite mid to further up the river. Um, some guys did catch them. You know in the cleaner water but it, it just wasn't happening for me i don't really know what i was doing wrong with it. it just wasn't happening for me so those were the areas that i fished at on lake murray south carolina you know the southern end of the lake um with it being the first time i was there you know on that lake i just had to make a split decision and didn't really turn out that good um i just really blame it on all the conditions uh you know a lot of guys did bad on that tournament um, it was really tough. I think there was like three limits at 85 anglers and that was that's tough and um, It's just a learning experience really for me. You know, you got to get out there and learn that time of year around um, February around here, it's it's tough and you just got to get out there and just keep learning it, you know, and it just makes you a better angler and um, That's all I can do and I, I, I would say that to you if you know you're struggling this time of year just keep grinding because you can't really learn at the house watching videos all these pros i mean you got to get out there and grind yourself to figure it out and uh guys i'm not gonna tell you to really to like this video because it's not the best video it's up to you on that um just making this video just to do a recap on my bad day out there blake murray it was just I mean, I got a fishing hangover today. It was bad. Um, guys, thanks for watching. Y'all have an awesome day. See you next time.